Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the XBLA Fans Channel, here to give you a quick taste of Verlet Swing. A, I'm not sure if I could really call it a platformer because you're not actually jumping from platform to platform, you're actually swinging all around these uh, surreal levels, and it's actually pretty fun, a, a bit for some weird uh, quirks of the game, which I'll talk about later. You got your normal like level selection, and then you got these fun challenges, which is essentially so far, you like get through this entire level selection in one go and all that kind of fun stuff, or this one here is playing the third person. But uh, we're going to actually continue from where I am now. So, as you can see here, I have to get from here to that orb that's all the way up there in the middle. I control it with either the right trigger or the left trigger. And I can kind of guide my path with the uh, the uh, l the uh, the uh, analog left stick, and I look around with the right stick. The right stick does not actually control any of that, but if I do it with the left stick, it does. Uh, things you have to take into account, of course, are your speed, uh, how far you attach to these, because you can actually hit, like, the bottom of stuff and not have a good day. Oop, there. Look at those fish in the sky. But uh, so far, it's been pretty enjoyable. The thing, the weird thing I talked about earlier is it's very easily to attach to stuff. Like, let's say I'm uh, aiming for this while I'm moving. If I go slightly off there, I might attack to, attach to this fish's tentacle over there or something like that and get a a way too far uh, sort of a thing going on there we go and that's that's what that's a that's a level we're gonna actually go back and do a level that i really enjoyed i think it's this one yes this one this one's really fun so this one you go and then you're going through here oh and if you hit something you have to restart and it restarts pretty fast and of course, there's uh, times and stuff like that. And boom. I actually uh, beat my record by two seconds. And then this one, of course, was a little more difficult. But let's go back to where I actually am. But I think this is pretty a pretty neat game. One of them actually had, like, exploding heads and stuff like that. Ooh. Uh, and you actually, like, connected it to the piece of exploding head. Oops. While they exploded, it was really neat. I might show that one off, too. And in we go to the toilet. We all oh, missed it. And, of course, uh, there are leaderboards, like, to get higher scores for faster speeds and stuff like that. There we go. What do we got here? Ooh, life preservers. Oh, nope. Oh, it didn't end well. But yeah, I think this game's pretty neat. And you can you can do either trigger and it doesn't really affect it. You always It always comes out of the right side. All right, we'll try to get this this time. Nope. Gotta get it. I need to get a, uh... There it is. That's what I wanted. Hey, fishies. And... Boop. Oh, I can get to the, uh, gems. Nope. It's always interesting. Uh, the stuff that you can actually attach to is a slightly different color. Like, I can attach to this. Oop, nope. Let's see if I can't. Nope. Yeah, one of the things you can actually do is uh, swing sideways. Like, it, there's a lot of stuff that tests uh, your reaction time. Uh, one of them, I actually just... Uh, this Maze Runner one, I actually swung so high, I actually bypassed like two-thirds of the level. It was great. So where's that other one? I think this is it. There it is. Like, this is neat. And then I have to go through here. Nope. Because, so what it's, uh, what it's doing is when you have a, like, it takes into account how long your, uh, your rope is. So if you, you can't pull yourself to stuff. You're, you're going on full momentum, which I think is really neat. Oh, so close. 
And of course you can, oh, see like right there, I accidentally attached to something that was miles away. Ooh. I'm gonna show you the uh, third person part thing after this, assuming that I can get this and show off and be cool. Nope. Let's go ahead and check that out. <clears throat> I think this is actually kind of neat. He also, he also looks slightly terrifying. Look at him. Like some kind of bug alien man. All right, let's go. We. So, so far this has only been the first levels. Nope. Oop, down I go again. It's hard to play this and talk at the same time. But yeah, Verlet Swing is actually pretty fun. We Spider-Man. So this one actually has a little rocket that you attach to and it takes you all the way over. Oof. Take a nap up there. I would have loved if there was a level with like just a whole bunch of rockets. Nope. And boom. Here's a good one. So you kind of you latch onto this one and you control your swing this way, and then you would go over here and attach the pizzas. Yeah, you didn't think you were going to see pizzas in this uh, video, did you? Oh, nope. It's hard to tell where the actual ground is in this perspective, though. Into there. This one I had issues with earlier. wonder if it'll be easier. And Nope. See, like there, I accidentally attached the wrong thing. For if you have issues on this one, use uh, the tops of these. Makes it a lot easier. Actually, doing this in third person is a lot easier. Or maybe I just did this so many times and messed it up. Oh. But you get the idea. Yeah, it's been, so far, it's been a ton of fun to play this. One more. And I will let you guys go. Needles is the fun one. Because that's when you get to go really, really fast. You get to go at the highest point of your swing. Oop. If you go too early, you uh, won't make it. And if you go too late, you won't get for speed, enough speed. And of course, it has like your speed and stuff at the bottom over there on the right. There you go. I'm not sure if you can actually change the... Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it actually uh, changed the, it to uh, miles per hour or anything like that. There's always a uh, orb right above the thing too. Never knew that why that's there. This is one of the ones I had issues with. But it's just a giant bridge that I've figured out to kind of go like this. And then do this, attach to him. Oh, nope. But yeah, you get the idea. But that's Verlet Swing. I think it's really neat. It's uh, going for those leaderboards. I haven't actually um, checked to see how, how I do on those. I have no friends who play. But anyways, oh, I'm number 11. Cool. Well, anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. This is Verlet Swing. Uh, thank you very much. Let me see how I'm doing on a, how I did on Attack on Pillar. Aw. I didn't do well at all. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Uh, have a nice day. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and I'll try to get back to you. See ya. Bye.